Apostle Robin's study in the Word. My dear brothers and sisters, now we are going to hear the word of God with Reverend Robin who has a special vision to serve the Lord all over the world. She is from United States of America. With the grace of God, she extended her love towards India to serve the Lord even here. So hear the word of God, be blessed and repent. దేవుని నామమున మీ అందరికీ వందనాలు దేవుని చేత అభిషేకించబడి దేశ విదేశాలలో బహుబలంగా వాడబడుచున్న దైవ సేవకురాలు రెవరెండ్ రాబిన్ గారు దేవుని అమూల్యమైన వాక్యమును మన దేశంలో కూడా అందించడానికి మన ముందుకు వచ్చి ఉన్నారు దేవుని వాక్యం విని దైవ దీవెనలు పొందుతాం Well, praise the Lord. This is the one and only Reverend Robin. Glory to God. Thank you for joining me. Let's go in prayer right now before the Father and just bless this time together. All right? Father, we just thank you, Lord. We just praise you and give you glory and honor. Oh, thank you, Father, for this time that we can come together and study your word. Your word is the truth and the life. it leads us to the path of life that you have planned for us oh lord i ask that we have ears to hear of your divine guidance of your wisdom of your knowledge oh lord we seek you daily lord we trust in you with all of our heart acknowledging you in all of our ways leaning not to our own understanding and believing that you'll direct our path Thank you Father for those that are watching right now. I just extend my hand out to them. Lord in believing, receiving that they'll get blessed body, soul and spirit by your word, Lord, by your songs, by the things that we share. Oh, it's all about you, Father. Mighty Jehovah. Oh God, you are good and we worship you. We keep our eyes focused on you for there is no one like you we thank you father for this day for this time lord heal the bodies that need your healing power by the blood of jesus we pray amen 
Well, thank you again for joining me. And I just love to come with you and study the Word of God. Amen. And just know that Jesus is Lord and He is coming soon. Amen. And so let's just worship the Lord. I want to teach you uh, this time. We're going to study about the Holy Spirit. He's our comforter. He should be our best friend. Holy Spirit is not an it. He's a person. He's the third person of the Godhead. And the Lord just now gave me this little song. share it and sing it along with everybody and I hope you enjoyed that because that's what we're going to be studying praise the Lord and I would love to hear from you you know there's nothing like connecting with the body of Christ 
and there, out there, and if you're watching on the internet or on the television, you remember Provergen Television Station and Brother Karen and the staff. If you have any event going on or fun things happening or church events or conventions, conferences, contact the television station. They are wonderful, wonderful people. And they'll help you, they'll assist you in everything that you need for your promotion, for your production. But just contact them, they'll have the information there for you. Don't forget Reverend Robbins Theological Bible College with Pastor Perry. You're welcome to go to the college there and uh, contact him. They'll have the information there. Or you can do it online. You can contact me by Facebook or my website at Sisters of the Lord. But right now, let's just open up in prayer, and we're going to go into the Word and learn about the Holy Spirit. So let's turn to John chapter 14, and that's verse first. And it says, this is Jesus talking now. And he's saying, let your heart not be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus is saying, don't. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't. Don't let this world get you down and the troubles and, and everything of this world. Amen? He says, don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Believe in that name that we learned about last week. The name above all names, Jesus Christ. In verse 2, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. He's still preparing a place. Can you imagine? As some of you may know, I have been there. And I have seen such sights that I can't even describe. But I know that the Lord is preparing our place for us. Be ready. And so let's go on down to verse uh, 6. It says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Verse 7, If you have known me, you should have known my Father also. From henceforth you know him and have seen him. And so we go to verse 9. Have I been so long a time with you that you have not known me, Philip? He that have seen me have seen the Father. In other words, since Jesus is in us, and he is in me, and I'm in him, if you see me, you see the Father. I know sometimes that is hard to understand, but we are created in the image of God, and he loves you. He dreamed of you. So if you have seen me, you have seen the Father, just like Jesus said. And so we're going to go on down to verse 12. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. In other words, greater miracles, greater things that we can do, because Jesus paid the price. He took away the curse of the law of sin and death, of poverty, sickness, and disease, and he gave us all power, the power of attorney, the power of his name, Jesus, the name above every name. In verse 13, it says, Whatsoever you shall ask of my name will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. In verse 14, I like this. It says, If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Hallelujah! Anything, anything, anything means anything. Just ask him. He's our Abba Father. And it says in verse 15, If you love me and keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Another comforter. So he was our first comforter, but he sent another comforter that he may abide with you forever. That's why he said in verse 1 that let not your heart be troubled. See, because he sent the comforter that will be with us forever. 
It says, verse 17, Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. You know, there are thousands of gods that people worship. But our God is the only God that lives within us. He lives within us. We can hear him. We can talk with him. We can fellowship with him. We are one with the Father because of Jesus. It says in verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. In other words, that word comfortless means orphan. He will not leave you as an orphan. Traveling the world as I do, I see hundreds and hundreds of orphans. And my heart goes out to them. I know many of our ministries that the Family Church of Jesus Christ is taking care of orphanages across the world in Kenya, India, Pakistan, Uganda, the Philippines, all over. But God promised that he wouldn't leave us as orphans, comfortless. He says, I will come to you yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. This is verse 19. But ye see me, because I live, you shall live also. 20. At that day you shall know that I am my Father, and you and me, and I and you. See, we are one. So if you see me, you've seen the Father. You need to love one another, cherish one another, pray for one another, give to one another. In verse 21, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them is he that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him, to you, to me, to you, me. Jesus said that if we love him, he will manifest, he will reveal himself to us. It's possible. Jesus wouldn't have said it if it wasn't true. Amen? The Comforter, the Holy Spirit. And so it says in verse 26, let's jump down. I want you to read this whole chapter of 14. Verse 26, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit, whichever you want to say, it's the same. In King James, they say the Holy Ghost. But it's the precious, divine Spirit of God, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, in the name of Jesus. Remember, Jesus is talking. The Father will send the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Just ask the Holy Spirit. You know, many a times, even if I've misplaced something or I need to know where to go or need what to do, I just, just talk to the Holy Spirit. He's your best friend. He's your comforter. He's your teacher. Just say, Holy Spirit, what do you think? It's just like getting to know someone. The more you talk with them, the more you share with them, the more you hear them, the more you, you know who they are. It's the way with the Holy Spirit. He loves you. He was sent here to teach you and lead you and guide you and comfort you, help you. And 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, but I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Praise you, Jesus. Let it not be afraid. Let not your heart be afraid. Trust in the Lord. Right there in verse 26. Let's read it again. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Don't go around confessing like, oh, I can't remember things. I can't, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? And so I want to share uh, one other passage with you. And um, let's go to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2. And I want to read there uh, to you. It's about the Holy Spirit. 
You know, a lot of people say, oh, God's ways are higher than our ways. And that, um, um, you know, that we would never know the ways of God. But that is not true now that we have the Holy Spirit. So let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. But it is written, I have not seen, ear have not heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. It was written back there in the Old Testament in Isaiah. It was like Isaiah 64, something like that. I'll have to look it up, but I know that it is, uh, it is back there. And uh, it says that, um, I have not seen, ear hath not heard, or entered into the heart of, of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. The next verse, though, verse 10 says, But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. There, it goes back to saying, but God has revealed things by his spirit. We don't live on the Old Testament anymore. We learn from the Old Testament, but the New Covenant, the New Testament, now it says in verse 10, but God now has revealed unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. I want to know the deep things of God, don't you? What is deep to God? Whoa, let's go out in the deep. Let the Holy Spirit lead you in the deep things of God. It says right there. In verse 11, let's read 11 and 12 and 13. For what man knoweth that things of man save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. We're not of this world. But we have the spirit which is of God. So we have the spirit of God. Why would we not know what God has prepared for us since we are one with him? That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Thank you, Jesus. Which things also, verse 13, we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Oh, praise the Lord. Do you get it? Read that whole passage there in 1 Corinthians 2, 9 through uh, 16. It says in verse 16, For who hath known the mind of the Lord, that we instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. There you go. The deep things of God. The Holy Spirit will lead us and guide us and direct us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise Him. Let's praise Him right now. Holy Spirit, just praise within us. Do you have the gift of spirit of speaking in tongues? Just receive it now, speaking in tongues. Receive the speaking in tongues. It is our spiritual language from the Holy Spirit to the Father when we don't know what to pray. The Holy Spirit is here to teach us and guide us and direct us. In everything, according to the Father, the deep things of our Father. Well, my time has run out. But thank you again for joining me. Let me hear from you. Call me. Write to me. Let me hear what God's doing in your life. Or if you need prayer. But be blessed. Be whole. Be healed in the name of Jesus. This is Robin. I love you. The one and only Reverend Robin. Pray for me, I pray for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Apostle Robin's Study in the Word
దేవుని నామమునికి మహిమ కలిగినగాక క్రిష్ణ నందు ప్రియ టీవీ వర్తమానములు వింటున్నటువంటి ప్రియ బిడ్డలందరికీ కూడా మన రక్షకులను మన విమోచకులను పరిశుద్ధులనైన యేసు క్రీస్తు వారి దివ్య నామమున మరి వందనాలు తెలియపరుస్తున్నాను రాముని గారి చేత ప్రకటించబడినటువంటి సువార్తమానము మీ జీవితాల్లో ఆశీర్వాదాన్ని తీసుకువస్తుందని మీ జీవితాల్లో శాంతిని తీసుకువస్తుందని మీ జీవితంలో అనేకమైనటువంటి ఆశీర్వాదాలకు నిలయంగా ఉంటుందని నేను ఆశిస్తూ ఉన్నాను అలాగనే పరిశుద్ధ గ్రంథంలో మనం గమనించినట్లయితే మార్క్స్ వార్త పదహారవ అధ్యాయము పదహారవ వచనంలో మీరు సర్వలోకమునకు వెళ్ళి సర్వ సృష్టికి సువార్తను ప్రకటించమని క్రీస్తు వారు తన శిష్యులకు ఆజ్ఞాపించి ఉన్నాడు అలాగననే ఆ వాక్యము శ్రేష్టమైనదిగా మనం భావిస్తూ ఉన్నాం మరి లోకమును గమనించినప్పుడు లోకములో కోత ఎంతో విస్తారంగా ఉన్నది కానీ కోసేవారు పనివారు కొద్దిమందిగా ఉన్నారు కనుక మరి పరిశుద్ధ గ్రంథాన్ని మనం గమనిస్తే క్రీస్తును ప్రకటించు పాదములు ఎంతో రమ్యములు సుందరములై ఉన్నవి అలాగనే మరి నీవు ఆశ కలిగినట్లయితే దేవుని పిలుపు నీలో ఉన్నట్లయితే మరి దేవుని రాజ్యంలో మీ వంతు పరిచర్య మీరు చేయుటకు అనేక ఆత్మలను రక్షించుటకు అనేక ప్రాంతాల్లో సువార్తికులుగా సేవకులుగా అలాగనే సంఘ స్థాపన చేయుటకు అలాగనే సంఘ కాపురులుగా ఉండుటకు మేము మిమ్మల్ని ప్రోత్సహిస్తూ ఉన్నాం మేము హృదయపూర్వకముగా ఆహ్వానిస్తూ ఉన్నాం మీరు వేదాంత విద్యను అభ్యసించాలని ఆశించినట్లయితే వెంటనే మమ్మల్ని సంప్రదించండి మా యొక్క చిరునామా టీవీ స్క్రీన్ మీద డిస్ప్లే చేయబడతాయి మమ్మల్ని సంప్రదించండి మీ కొరకు ప్రాస్పెక్టస్ పంపించబడతాయి అలాగనే మీ కొరకు ప్రార్థన చేయబడతాయి ఎవరైనా ఆసక్తి కలిగినటువంటి యువతి యువకులు మీ అడ్మిషన్స్ రిజిస్టర్ చేయించుకొని క్రీస్తు సేవలో ఫలభృతంగా జీవించాలని మేము ఆకాంక్షిస్తూ ఉన్నాం మమ్మల్ని సంప్రదించవలసిన మా చిరునామా ద డైరెక్టర్ రెవరెన్ రాబిన్స్ థియాలజికల్ బైబుల్ కాలేజ్ తురప్రాంతకం పోస్ట్ అండ్ మండల్ ప్రకాశం డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అలాగనే మా మొబైల్ నంబర్స్ నైన్ సెవెన్ జీరో ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ డబల్ ఫోర్ సెవెన్ ఎయిట్ జీరో అండ్ ఎయిట్ సెవెన్ నైన్ జీరో టూ నైన్ వన్ త్రీ సెవెన్ వన్ మా మెయిల్ అడ్రస్ నాగరాజ్ పారి ఆర్ఆర్టీబీసీ ఎట్ ద రేట్ ఆఫ్ జీమెయిల్ డాట్ కామ్ Apostle Robin's study in the Word.